Ethnic style Lavishly exotic in terms of color and ornamentation, the ethnic look is just about as far as you can get from minimalist style and so is perfect for those with a passion for life who want their home to reflect their sense of adventure. Color Hot and earthy are two good words to describe the ethnic color palette and smoldering clash of vivid shades that excite the senses and give any room distinctive impact. Moroccan style is slightly more sophisticated, being less broad in its color choices and often featuring large areas of pure white to avoid an overwhelming onslaught of color. Indian style, on the other hand, is an adventure in high contrast shades with more not less being the driving force and here white is hardly used at all. Moroccan style As befits its North African origins, the rich and warming Moroccan room scheme features burnt desert tones of ochre, sand and terracotta on floors and pillars, set against the stark contrast of dazzling white walls. Jewel-inspired shades such as amber, agate, turquoise, emerald and sapphire are then mixed in, often in the form of mosaic on walls, pillars and even tabletops to add vibrancy. Richer reds, burgundies and even navy blue may also be introduced with Persian rugs. Indian style Imagine an Indian marketplace filled with women in exotic yet clashing saris and you have the essence of this exuberant, lustrous color palette. The beauty of the interior style is that you can opt for a shockingly high contrast combination of shades such as hot pink with bold blue or tone the look down by mixing saffron with tikka and vermilion, for example, for a warm yet still intoxicating look. Walls Brilliant white walls are the best and most authentic backdrop for Moroccan settings and allow you to use even small helpings of the jewel-toned color palette on seating, curtaining and so on to create an exotic effect. Interestingly, matte finishes are far more common not only on walls but on every surface. The only exception being the use of mosaics on columns and small panels of wall, which give off the dull sheen of ceramic tiles. Indian style takes the directly opposite view, turning up the volume on both color intensity and high sheen on walls. Dramatic highlights of gold and silver are not uncommon on decorative paneling, fretwork or stamped motifs, and of course saris and decorative panels of fabric swathed on poles add to the opulent effect. Your choice of paint finish also depends on which region you take for inspiration. Indian style looks best teamed with higher sheen finishes such as satin woodwork and silk paints. You could even add metallic finishes on woodwork to create yet more sparkle. Floors Stone and particularly terracotta tiles add richness yet are relatively informal which is why they are commonly used in the average home, while glossy marble is more often found in top-class hotels. Adding scattered rugs throughout allows you to give rooms a layer of softness and can be used in one of two ways. For grand opulent rooms, one large rug positioned centrally is ideal, while for more laid-back family rooms, a selection of three or more smaller rugs positioned slightly overlapping one another in haphazard Perhaps crisscross pattern is far more in keeping. If you must have carpet, look for rich paisley motifs or plain or ribbed neutral tones. Natural fiber floorings can also be used to mimic authentic rush matting. Seagrass is the smoothest underfoot. Finally, if you really want to give your imagination free reign, consider creating a patterned mosaic floor in a bathroom or hallway for the ultimate eye-catching choice. Fabrics Bold, vibrant and bejeweled ethnic fabrics used in the form of just a few accessories such as cushions or curtains can introduce a sense of ethnic style without necessitating a whole new scheme. Use the color palette as a guide and remember that your choice of texture depends on which country you want to emulate most. Silks, organzas and open weave muslins suit the Indian theme while heavy velvets add a Moroccan feel. Have fun experimenting with mixing richly patterned fabrics with planes to achieve a balance that suits your own taste. 
Indian fabrics tend to feature paisley motifs, gold and silver embroidery. Lots of hand embroidered beading and even tiny mirrors hand stitched in place for added sparkle. Use traditional Indian imagery of temples, elephants and gods if you prefer a more patterned end result. Moroccan fabrics generally rely on texture and block printed motifs for interest and have a richer yet more subdued look. Geometric Moroccan star motifs work brilliantly used on selective soft furnishings. Kitchen The kitchen in the average Moroccan and Indian home is basic by European or American standards with an open wood-burning oven just as likely to appear as a modern gas or electric appliance. But the fact that there are no definite guidelines as to how to recreate the look actually frees you to play with color and accessories rather than opting for a radical overhaul, a big bonus for those on a budget. Using dark wood units is one good starting point as it echoes the use of Iroko and dark teak in other rooms in the ethnic home. However, mid-toned rustic wood finishes can easily be given an ethnic twist with the addition of saffron walls and traditional ethnic accessories including brass and tin cookware, wooden gourds and hand-painted tiles. Just remember that the more informal and haphazard the look the better as casual clutter is key. Living room In Indian schemes, dark wood and rush seating in the form of ornately carved day beds and colonial style armchairs are more usual. These are not really practical options for everyday life, so look for low level sofas in minimal first designs with a low back and no arms if possible, but in deep upholstery shades such as wine red, which you can then accessorize with lots of scatter cushions. These should be richly embroidered, beaded, or even have tiny mirrors sewn on the front. Dark wood furniture is perfect. A Thakat style table in deep mahogany with wrought iron detailing will provide the look you are after and is widely available on the high street and from mail order suppliers. Moroccan homes also feature mosaic topped side and coffee tables on narrow, pole style iron legs or round, beaten brass side tables. Bedroom Think of a harem theme to set your imagination loose when designing this room setting. Then consider ways to replace or revamp your boring divan. Ethnic bedrooms always have a dramatic bed as the main focal point of the room, so consider investing in a carved wooden four-poster for an exotic bador feel. Ornately carved headboards in dark wood, such as Iroko, create a distinctly Moroccan flavor. But look out for designs that extend at least three feet above your divan to give the bed real dominance. For a more Indian flavor, drape heavy swathes of fabric above the bed head to create a cocoon around your pillows or suspend a mosquito net from a hooped hanging frame centered above the bed to mimic colonial style. Carved wooden bedside tables make ideal accompaniments as does a large carved chest as a blanket box. Bathroom the need to keep fresh and cool underpins the style of ethnic bathrooms so tiles cover almost every surface and should form the basis for your look. Modern Moroccan looks are most accessible with your subdued limestone or marble tiling, but why not experiment with bright mosaic flooring or wall tiles in aqua, blue, white and burnt sand hues. A large walk-in shower fits the theme more than a bath so you might consider swapping your standard bathroom for an exotic wet room tiled from floor to ceiling with a dramatic large rose shower head simply fixed to one wall so that the shower cubicle and room are effectively one and the same. Alternatively, you could take inspiration from colonial days and opt for a freestanding roll top bath instead. Add shutters or fretwork screening to your windows for privacy. Decorate the room with brass or tin punched mirrors and lanterns and handmade polished ironwork accessories such as a freestanding towel rail.